Hello, in this one I want to start with a bug, cause basically this bug determines what kind of weapon I want to do and what kind of weapon upgrade I'm looking for. So basically in this one I tested a bunch of weapons and the main idea is that depending on what weapon you use and if you have a Shadow Warrior link, your Shadow Warrior starts to hit less. You can see that in the Excel file basically that with two hand axe there is a difference of 34% almost while one hand axe is only 25. So basically what to take from this, this bug was from season four and they didn't manage to fix it in season five. Uh, what it means is that um, on some of the weapons you lose quite a bit of damage. And by the looks of it, one handers are a little bit better than two handers in this case. And this is one of the reasons why you see Frost Strike players running a one-hander scepter. It's not the best one-hander on, with my calculations, but at the same time, that one-hander scepter has insane amount of damage, insane amount of base damage. And it's much better than two-hander axe. Like two-hander axe with Shadow Warrior is really bad on most of the builds. It a little bit depends on what kind of build you're doing. On Frost Strike, these are the numbers. On other builds, it, it can be a little bit different. But I wanted to get this out of the way so it would make sense why I did some of the changes and why I'm gonna do some of the changes to my build. So Chaos Town was actually my first change on the next day and the problem with my current one was it was good, it was decent, it had damage but it was wrong authorities and they really needed the correct authorities to get the blessing because the blessing itself is much more damage than the Chaos Town. After that I, I'm fixing my Lacrima basically. I had a Castor um, Hamal Confusion Lacrima. That's the main reason why I did my Chaos Town Craft. So I could equip this one, Hamal Confusion basically. And this was a nice one. I spent quite a bit of unique change essences to get semi-decent stats. But it took me quite some time. And I spent quite a bit. Uh, from the old one, I didn't get that much damage because I lost a little bit of cold flat, but this is basically the damage test. I went from like 400 mil to like 600 mil or close to 600 and I'm not using any enhances. I really wanted to know what's my damage so I could actually know what maps I can do. So yeah, around 600, so it was decent 20% damage jump over my old one. Did some Exodio maps. Dropped some Trom Crystals, bought some Trom Crystals from the black market, so I thought it's time to open up some skill board space. I really like to open at least half of the skill board, because that fixes um, some of the choices. You can add quite a bit of extra stuff that you wouldn't be able to add without. And that was the main idea, basically. This time it was mainly just to switch some spots, awaken some stuff. I didn't add anything new. And the best event is back. I, I freaking love the Roll Dice event. It's so easy to do. It doesn't take any extra time. If you compare it to other events, they take insane amount of time to do. And the drops are really good. Actually, on the first day, I managed to get two uh, engraving, book, engraving selection boxes. It's nothing too crazy, but it was a good start. And you can pick up and divine and hold essences, which is insane. But the HDs on the event... I hope you get something good. And don't forget to do your Exodio maps. It drops so much good stuff. I was just trying to drop some crafting essences to actually do my gear. A little bit of troms again. I really want to open that half boy skill bot, so Exodio maps are the best for it. Plus the Fountains of Wisdom, basically for the easy rune master XP if you're running potion effect belt. And Exodiums is the best right now to do. If you have any maps, don't waste don't don't keep those in your storage, just do them and pick up your upgrades. This KA Starcraft was basically on another day. I was trying to fix my blessing. I crafted a tier 9 Chaos Star. The craft itself is nothing too crazy, just some HPs, but the main thing was to fix my blessing. Which, either way, I didn't manage to. I My math was wrong, basically. That was the main reason why I, did, I couldn't fix it. But at least I got usable Chaos Star Tier 9. It was a lot of HPs, but it, it's okay for me. After all the changes, I went to do high level Serpents. But the problem was I, I, did, I was not tank enough. I didn't die, 
but I just was not tanky enough and I kinda just didn't do it anymore. I wanted to drop some one-handed to actually start crafting some damage upgrades, but I just couldn't couldn't do it. I just went to do some maps. For some reason I managed to do 149 map, but I didn't keep grinding those. It was still a little bit too slow for me because I love to do my maps in like under three minutes. But yeah, this was basically the two day progress or so. Did a bunch of, bunch of stuff. And right now my main my main goal is just to drop a one hand scepter or one hand axe. Anything that is less bugged with the Shadow Warrior. And just get some damage and, some, and get some defense. I think shield is kind of necessary right now. At least on some of the builds. But yeah, GG's. Have a nice day. And see you on the next one. And a quick DPS test for those who tracks my damage or wants to know what I'm doing.